Hey guys, this is Caliber. This week I wanted to make a video on defending against Zoe's corner mix-ups. In the first part, I will show you guys how to set the training mode to emulate a standard Zoe mix-up. Then, I'll try to explain how the mix-up works in depth. Let's begin. In training mode, go to your recordings and make sure it's set to slot 1. Now, to record, first hit L3 once to gain control of the dummy. Once you've positioned yourself, hit L3 once more to start the recording. We're going to start with a simple block string. Press L3 a third time to stop recording. Press R3 to make the dummy play the recording to check if you've done it right. Next, we will record slots 2 and 3. Once you've recorded the three slots, go and change the replay method to random and set the first three slots to one as shown. When you press R3, let the dummy hit you and try to defend against the three random options. Try to react to the throw and overhead while defending low against the low attacks. Once you've done that, we're going to add a few more layers. Record slots four, five, and six with the following setups. Turn them all on and try to defend against as many options as you can. The goal isn't to defend against all of them, but to get used to the possible options Zoe can do to you. And you'll find out that certain options are more rewarding than others. But first, let's visualize these mix-ups. Here we have a standard block string. The point of this attack string is to get you to keep blocking. This particular string, combined with the wyvern setup, means that any hit can combo into big damage. If you block the whole sequence, there's not much Zoe can do and the pressure ends. But what makes it a mix-up is that you can replace any of these attack buttons with something else. In this scenario, the mix-up begins when you get knocked down. The opponent could hit you, or choose to do a throw or overhead. This is the first layer. If the opponent chooses 2L and you block it, they are plus and can continue another option. This is the second layer. However, it is important to know that throw is no longer an option as you are in block stun from the beam. This second layer is essentially a high-low mix-up forcing you to guess high or low. If the opponent goes for 2L again, we reach the third layer, and the opponent can do a few more things as shown. Going back to what I said before, you'll find that of all the options in the setup, only a few combine with the Wyvern Beam to make a big combo. For example, take Instant Overhead and 2L Overhead. Instant Overhead won't combo even if you get hit, but 2L Overhead or Delay Overhead combines with the Beam to allow a combo. Knowing this, we can prioritize reacting to certain options over others. If the opponent also knows that certain options are better, they might favor them over the others. To replicate this, you can set the random replay so that slots 1, 2, and 4 are more likely to play over the others. Combine this practice with real matches, and you'll find it a lot easier to deal with this scenario. Thank you for sticking till the end of the video. Leave a like and comment if you found this video helpful, and tell me what you would like explained in a future video. My main content is on Twitch, so if you enjoy watching GBVS streams, consider following and hanging out with me.